So Javonta Davis knocks out Frank Martin in the eighth round. Let's talk about it. Now I picked Javonta Davis to win this fight in eight or nine rounds. So I was basically bang on on that. But the way the fight played out was slightly more difficult for Javonta Davis than I had anticipated. Frank Martin was using a lot of movement. He was getting his jab off. And we know that Tank Davis is low volume. He never throws a lot of punches, but he tends to have a pretty good connect percentage. So when he does throw, he usually lands. But in this fight, he was a little frustrated in the early going with Frank Martin's movement. You know, he was utilizing his extra height and reach to good effect. I think it was kind of borderline running at times, to be fair, but it was still working for the most part. Tank Davis was obviously invested into the body, hoping to get Frank Martin down the stretch. And we've seen fights in the past where people have done relatively well against Tank Davis. And he tends to catch up with him after, let's say three or four rounds, maybe five rounds. But here against Frank Martin, Davis's corner were looking anxious after six. They were telling him that he needs to win everything from here on to get the W. Now in the seventh round, Frank Martin noticeably started to slow down. In fact, he was starting to slow down a little bit in the fifth and the sixth. You could see the body shots and the pressure, the relentless pressure from Tank Davis was starting to get to him a little bit. But the seventh round is where it became very apparent. Martin was far more stationary. He was getting pinned in the corners on the ropes. And you don't want to be there against Tank Davis because this little guy is a tremendous puncher. I said before the fight that it's very unusual in the lower weight classes to have a guy fighting at championship level for a period of several years that has this type of knockout percentage. A 93% knockout ratio, 28 knockouts out of 30 fights. He really is pound for pound one of the hardest punchers in boxing today. Arguably the hardest puncher in boxing today. Notice I said arguably because pound for pound is an abstract concept, right? But yeah, Davis kept applying the pressure, was really catching up to Martin in the seventh. And in the eighth round, it was more of the same. Joe Goosen on commentary was warning about how dangerous it was for Frank Martin to be on the ropes like that. I mean, we all knew it. And the inevitable happened in the eighth round when Javonta Davis caught Frank Martin with an uppercut, hurt him. Martin stumbled back and Davis stepped in with a straight left hand to finish the fight. Frank Martin was unable to get to his feet before the count of 10. So it was a clean knockout rather than a TKO, which is generally more common at top level, at least, you know, championship level. So Javonta Davis marches on. Now the fight we all want to see is Javonta Davis versus Shakur Stevenson. That's the one that needs to happen at 135 pounds. But Javonta Davis being a prodigy of Floyd Mayweather, he's a diva at the negotiating table. God only knows what kind of deal he's going to want to fight Shakur Stevenson. Some people of course would be interested in seeing Davis versus Vasyl Lomachenko. And hey, I'd take that fight too. But I do think it's a few years past its sell-by date. Lomachenko is still very useful. Let's not get it twisted. But if the fight had happened four or five years ago, it would have been more interesting to me because Lomachenko was in his prime then. And of course, Javonta Davis ducked him at that time. But you know, Lomachenko is still a champion along with Davis and Shakur Stevenson. You've also got Denis Baranchek, the newly crowned WBO lightweight champion as a potential opponent for Javonta Davis. So let's see what happens. He is the money man in the lightweight division. If any of these guys want to get paid, they're going to go have to see Mr. Davis and they're going to have to be willing to compromise a lot at the negotiating table if they want that payday. It is what it is. I don't like it, but there you go. I mean, maybe it would be a better idea for, let's say, Shakur Stevenson or Baranchik to fight each other. Then the winner of that fight Lomachenko, then the winner of that will have three belts and they'll be in a much better position at the negotiating table against Javonta Davis. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Davis versus Martin. Martin can come again. He's got a decent amount of talent. As I said prior to the fight, he's a solid all-rounder, but he doesn't do any one thing spectacularly well. Whereas Davis, on the other hand, has spectacular punching power. He has more to his game than just that. Don't get it twisted. But the punching power is the thing that stands out the most. Anyway, let me your thoughts in the comments section.